Abacus multiplication, solving problems with one-digit multipliers. In the last lesson, we learned how to set the problem, and we set some pretty large numbers as examples. Let's start multiplying with something a bit easier. Multiplying involves the same basic steps. Read the problem, set the problem, and multiply. We already know the first two steps, so let's multiply. Read the problem. 22 times 2. What's the multiplicand? The number to be multiplied is 22. Set the problem. Set the multiplicand, 22, in the billions section by setting 2 in the ones column and 20 in the tens column of the billions section. Remember, you can always count the number as you set it or set the number directly. There's no harm in counting if you feel comfortable doing that. So, if 22 is the multiplicand, what's the multiplier? The number doing the multiplication is 2. Set the multiplier 2 in the millions section by setting two one beads in the ones column. Multiply. Multiply 22 times 2. We start with the smallest unit or amount. That would be the 2 in the ones column of 22 and multiply that 2 by the 2 that is the multiplier. We know that 2 times 2 equals 4. Set 4 in the units column of the hundreds section. The hundreds section is also known as the units section. Clear the value of 2, the 2 1 beads, in the ones column in the billion section from the multiplicand. We are left with a 2 in the tens column, or 20. That also gets multiplied by 2, the multiplier. 20 times 2 equals 40. Well, let's say you don't feel comfortable multiplying a two-digit number in your head like that. You can focus on place value and multiply the 2 in the tens column by the 2 that is the multiplier. We know that 2 times 2 equals 4, right? Sure, but this time, since the 2 in the multiple canned, the first number, is in the tens column, we set that 4 in the tens column of the product. I set a 4 in the tens column of the hundreds section. That's 40. I can clear the value of 20, the two one beads in the tens column from the multiple canned, and clear the multiplier. Read the answer. I can now read the answer or product. 44. Many of you probably could get the answer to that by using mental math. So let's move on to some numbers that are a bit more challenging. 